cuts it into an area. Keo Zamora! Unbelievable! Hi, uh, Bobby. Hi, uh, Rob. Can you hear us all right? Got you, mate. How are we doing? Yeah, very good. You? Roberto. Bobla, how are we? I'm sweet. Whoa, whoa, I've just seen a barnet, my man. Oh, <laughs> Covid cut. Right, Go for it, it, mate. What do they call that? The thick Co- mohawk. Yeah. The thick mohawk. That's my, my wife says it's the best haircut I've ever had, which is yes, who right, cut I like it. it. Yeah. It's taken a couple. Of, it's taken a couple of years off you. I've got to say, gone for it, mate. Just gone for it. It's better, than, it's better than the one that was back at Norwich, man. The big. Uh, one. <laughs> that was bad. Yeah, that, that's the difference between my wife cutting it, and my mate cutting it with the <laughs> kitchen scissors. Good. Like <laughs> there weren't any coronavirus then, so I ain't got that excuse then. So. <laughs> oh, I love it. Here it is. Whoa, look at these legends. How are we? All right, Hello. How are we, boys? Hello. Good, mate. All good. What's happening? Sweet, 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 sweet. Good man. Looking well, boys. That's good. Yeah, good. yeah look at Greeny's barn in it, man. <laughs> oh, what Andy, is he doing, it? by the way? What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. What are you doing? Are you going back to the youth. You, you like it, no? Everyone, no, I've, I've I do, had, I do. I like it. 100% it's feedback it's so it's far. It's a side profile. I'm <laughs> <in> the side profile. <laughs> <laughs> What's the back? How does you do the back, mate? How's it go? Does it go like that in the back? Turn yeah, because it's <laughs> like, do you know you get them hair pens that the kids get, like the chalk? And yeah, you get, yeah, yeah. So she drew lines in that and then did it with that. So it looks all right, but it's just a bit short at the minute. <laughs> it just needs to grow it it's out. A bit like the Street Fighter character, the Russian <laughs> Street Fighter. Zangi, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Zangi. You lost the plot, mate. Oh, you lost the plot. Why? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this fella. <laughs> you in Dubai, lad, or what? Is his us? mic working? Can you hear us? Can you speak, Chaz? Yeah, I've got you. You got me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes, so I'm mute. Yes, did, you yes, mute, yes. mute did you mute yourself or something? Have you had a, have you had a haircut for that or what? Oh, no, I get on it. I know. Get on it, Chaz. Get on it. Brilliant. Hey, if, if anyone with rascal haircuts can't come at me, it's Charlie. He's still got his cap on it. What you got there, Keys? I've, I've got a diet coke. What's yours? Oh yeah! Whoa! Yes, man as well. These guys still in the game. They're struggling. Game. Right. Okay, lads. Listen. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate a couple of you got to get away. So. Uh, we'll crack straight on with it. Shall uh, I come back? Shall I come back for the last couple of minutes? Uh, okay. I'll, I'll back the last couple of minutes. Last seconds. So is this, Ninety is this 19 gone? minutes of Greeny saving everyone, and then Bobby yeah. turns up and makes yeah. one corner. Yeah. Yeah. Is this going to be? We might as well go, lad. We'll join up in about 18 minutes. No, just a quick one. You know, I scored 20 goals before the final. Then we. <laughs> In the final played left wing, wasn't seen, touched ball four times, and then got promoted. You know that, don't you? Like, I don't really need to be involved in this if you want still, me to be. Still living off those QPR days, mate. We, we've all retired. We don't care. You're still living off them. Hey, you only need one good season as a striker, Greeny. <laughs> Bobby, Clint, Charlie, Rob, thanks very much for joining us for this review of the playoff final. Incredibly six years ago today. Um, I'll leave it for, for you lot to, to take over and talk us through. I'll start with you, Clint, as you were leading the line. What were the emotions for you guys at this point, Clint? Uh, well, for me, my last time at Wembley was the old Wembley and I got sent off in a League Cup final. So I'm, going, <laughs> I'm going to new Wembley thinking, don't cock this up, son. <laughs> so I've got different emotions, but walking out here, Remember it raining really, it just came out of nowhere, the rain, didn't it? For the first five minutes, you know, like, what the hell's happening? I remember being, I remember being in the line, yeah, and the lady that was singing, she was obviously waiting for us all to queue up. She was drenched. She was obviously, she all in the tunnel, like, she was soaked. <laughs> I, I, I mean, like, when you walk out and you see all the flags and everything, like, one half of Wembley was just blue, wasn't it? And I mean, like, the, the amount of work that went into it the night before, and when you walk out and you see that wall of blue and white, it was, yeah, it was, it was special, special moment. Yeah. I, I, I walked in after the warm up and I walked into the dressing room and I was like, right, okay, I'm ready, I feel good, you know, 15 minutes before kickoff. And Bondi is, he just stood there with his head, and he, he sat there with his head in his hands. I'm like, you're right, Bondi. He went, no, Rob, <laughs> I'm bricking it. <laughs> I was like, 
he said, do you feel all right? I said, yeah, I feel good. I love the big games. He said, oh, I hate them. I can't stand it. And that was the assistant manager. I thought, oh, we'll, we'll be all right, yeah. You're gone, dude, lad. <laughs> who, was look, struggling with the, who was struggling with the nerves before the game in the lead-up? Because there's so much build-up. There's two weeks of build-up for this. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say the manager and the assistant manager more than the lads. Uh, yeah. When you I look think, at, I mean, look at, look at the experience just on this video call here. You know what I mean? Like, lads have played massive games and, and big time players, so the, the team was full of it at the time, wasn't it? Um, the it's a great games one. Yeah. When I see when I see my thing, the I can see Bobby, Greeny, and Clint. When I went to the club, I, the only experience I had was the championship. It, one champ, one playoff final. I got beat one 0 missed an absolute sitter against Millwall. I just thought, not all over again. We've got to win, surely. I can't get be a jinx. That'll be stuck to my name forever. I'll never be able to play for a decent team again. But it is, Think you, you, again, you look at the side and the number of us, I was out of contract. I think, Bob, you were... There, yeah. there was a whole host of us out of contract. So we were actually playing for our futures in, in this game. And, it was, you know, it's not like... People sat there going, oh, uh, what, whatever, still still got a job. It was us going, we've got to win this because we do not know the permutations for our futures here. Manager getting absolutely so Greeny, as you say, you look through that whole squad that was there, even the starting 11 as well as the lads on the bench, everyone, bar me, had played in the Premier League. Was yeah. that something yeah. you were mindful of, Charlie? Faith, obviously, in the team because I, throughout the playoffs, the experience just shone. We were so much more experienced, and brave, braver, braver than everybody else. Do you know what I mean? That was the yeah. sum, sum total of Charlie's efforts there. That shot over the bar in the game. Greeny, <laughs> <laughs> second half, Armand cuts one back to me, and I don't have about four bounces to go wide. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. But like, but like, you, like, you, like, you, like, you, like, you, like, you, like, like, like you mentioned, though, the experience is, it was key, I think, for the playoffs. So that back end of the season, there was a little... That, I mean, it was a funny old season. The experience that we had, we should have pissed it, really, um, for whatever reason we didn't. We had ups and downs and little clicks in the changing room that, you know, probably affected us a little bit. But ultimately, those last four, five, six games of the season, we all just I think we all just realised, actually, do you know what? Let's just do our job. Yeah, we come together. together. Yeah, come together and do it. And that's ultimately what we've done, didn't we? You know, Joey and his band of brothers. So uh, Blackie, Blackie uh, played a big part, both, didn't he? Blackie coming in, yeah, just giving us a little bit of a different voice, a different leadership, and yeah, we just all found a, a common theme towards the end. And uh, the amount of games we won one nil that season was frightening. I think as well. You look at it. So and we had experience of doing that. Yeah, you scored a few as well that that season, mate, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. <definitely. laughs> But you're going through the highlights here, and the first stuff it was it's typical sort of playoff final, wasn't it? Tight, no one really giving much away. There weren't a lot in it at all. I felt who I felt throughout the whole season that oh, it, first strikers, Bob. Obviously, we get the headlines, and same as obviously the goalies, Greeny. You mm. you obviously make great saves in that. But defenders' wife, how good was Dunny? I never realised how oh. good he was, mate. Do you know what I mean? Until I played for him for that year, he was top draw. Monster, mate. quick as well, wasn't he? Once he got going, he was quick. quick Good on the yeah. Yeah. Corner your eyes, the old size 11 Pumas chasing you. <laughs> yeah. we had to that, him that, that last ditch tackle, wasn't it? That last ditch tackle, that big slide that he had was just, yeah. He got that body in your arm, you could save that. Yeah. Probably one of your best games, really, for us, wasn't it? It, it was my only one, wasn't it? No, um, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, <laughs> No, he's playing. He's quite good in this game in particular. It was weird because like Derby just put in so many crosses, and I'm stood there and in the goal go, I don't need to come for anything because Danny's going to head them all. Like Danny or Ned, him just there, and you sit there thinking these ain't the most physical side. At what point are they going to change this? Because they put they must have put in thirty crosses in the second half alone that Danny and Ned him headed. He just seemed. Like we we got Plan A and we're just going to keep on trying it and they just never they, they never really threatened sort of behind the backwards or anything. No. It's Armand getting away there, wasn't it? It's a shot. That was, that was, a, that was shot a surprise. Wasn't it? Was that was that a surprise? Armand started. Was it a surprise that he, that yeah. he started that? No, probably not. Really. Really. Off injured, probably didn't he? Yeah. Cranchard come off injured. Nico, Nico, no, that was Nico it. came Nico off. Came yeah, yeah. Nico that was it. Left wing, didn't he? 
Early, yeah, early, yeah. Yeah, and he's got his hamstring. So, you know when he, he come off after like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, when he come off, you're thinking, like, he's big player, big experienced yeah. player, do you know what I mean? Another one. And yeah. when he went, it was like... Yeah. Like you didn't you really just like, we train with Armin. We trained with Armin. We didn't know what he was he didn't do his laces up. He was just he didn't give a, if we won, he was there to part. If we got beat, for me, he do you know what I mean? He, he didn't care. There's a there's a bobbler wide. That was there we go. That was, <laughs> <laughs> I'll see, but he's got his sunglasses. The last, see, the last, the last, is this yeah, it? Honestly. You just not one player for the big yeah, occasion, are you? Yeah, look, cut back. Look, cut back are just not there. Oh, the last time I there, played Wembley, it was at the other end. The other end was the bubble. All right, how many times do you want to show it, George? <laughs> he's, he's... A bubble on Wembley, lad. Yeah, he's the only player in the world to, to ever find a bubble at Wembley. Yeah. <laughs> no, Richie, <laughs> Richie nice Keogh did an all. Yeah, in about, yeah, if Rich, you stay for 15 minutes, <laughs> he finds one in a minute straight to Bob. <laughs> here he is. Look, here he is. Here he is. But Bobby, this is the point you came on. Were you given any specific instruction at this stage? Obviously, it's still 11 v 11 at this point. To be honest, it, it, uh, Harry just said, go out, and, go out and do your thing. It, it, my, interpretation, <laughs> my interpretation of that was hold the ball up, just try and take a little bit of pressure off the back four that were under it the whole game, pretty much. But, um, yeah, I mean, it was just trying to take a bit of pressure off, um, put your body about, really. That was, that was all I had in mind, really, and just try and run that clock down a bit. You, you nearly came off about five minutes later, though. <laughs> <laughs> I know, my body was telling me to leave it alone. You know, throughout the whole game, you know, throughout the whole game, I've got to be honest, we was never, we was never in control. But for me, I never felt like we... It shows that we never actually had a shot on target. We never... They absolutely battered us. We couldn't... Did you, feel like, did you ever feel... I, I, it sounds weird. At, at no point did I feel like that we'd, we'd, we'd lose the game, though. I don't no. know. It's just I, weird because I, I looked around. It says Greeny and goal, and I was like, Greeny nah. and goal, saying they ain't going. They he never felt like they was going to score a header. They put in like thirty or thirty crosses, or whatever. Like it was never going to score a header. But we just couldn't. It was like in, from box to box, they was very good with the ball, and then when yeah. they got to our box, they just found nothing. I, yeah. I think it was. Uh, it, it, it kind of, with hindsight, is a wonderful thing. But like the sending off done as a favour because it kind of told us we didn't have to attack then. And we could just sit in. And they almost punched themselves out, I think, like through the game. You, you look at it and they just, they just get started to get a bit leggy. And you think, well, hold on. They haven't really at, they haven't got that much about them. So he's here kind it of... Is here, isn't it? Just here we go. Off, yeah. Ten. Oh, I, was, I, was there, right? I was getting there all day. I was, I'm, trying, <laughs> I'm just hey, trying to defend Gary O here. Yeah, no, I, I'm sat there thinking, I'll, I'll save it. Clint will get there. All I'll, I'll save it. I've got it. I've got it. He's got eight. I've seen you run, Hilly. No chance with it. Wait, you know, I see, hey, you know, I see him about 10 days later in Tenerife and he went, got that red card right, didn't I? What's the yeah. Cheeky yeah. Oh. The trigger was about to be pulled. Nice, thanks for fair. Did you think there was a chance he was going to stay on when the conversation with the assistant was happening? No, nah, you, no. you just got a feeling, didn't you? I'm yeah. just, I'm just glad Bobby didn't say take one with you this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I'd have said it, if I'd have said it to Gaza, he would have, he would have understood it though. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? Just, but no. Uh, Said so this the wrong person, that they lad, but yeah. yeah. Exactly. Listen, he, I could, he, he had to do what he had to do, didn't he? Yeah. I think I would have saved player. it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that, was his, <laughs> that was his last game as well, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was, wasn't it? I think it was. <laughs> That's to do what he had to do. Chris, the following Harry. season got promoted. Oh, Loves of promotion, to be fair. Greeny? What's this? Oh, I, I dislocate my thumb there. Oh. Is it this one? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Like, horrible, scabby one. I stubbed it in the ground just there and just popped out. And I thought, as I was getting up, I was just turning around going, oh, that's not right. I'll put it back in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're walking along, you think, oh, a little sick feeling in your stomach, just popped it back in. <laughs> not as bad as this one, but... <laughs> oh, you had one finger over here, the other one over here. <laughs> Maybe that, that's what made the difference. I could reach all parts, yeah. Like Eddie, like that, saving it. the ball. I've got it. Oh, there you go. Look, that one's not the best of the corner. Thumbs there. 
What was the mindset at this moment? I think, who was it? Someone kept saying five minutes, blocks of five minutes. I can't remember who it was. One of the lads. Beforehand. Now, Blackie used to say it beforehand, just no. use that when we got onto the pitch, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, someone, every once in a while, someone will shout next five minutes. And you, the Derby players, one of the Derby players went, five minutes? We got 25 or 30 minutes. You're, you're, you lot are, you're, you're screwed, you lot. I mean, oh, all right. Yeah, cheers for that. Bit of motivation. Take that on board. Was that, was that Martin? Was that Martin? It was, wasn't it? Probably yeah. was, yeah. Yeah. He said, no. Nah, he was quite chirpy, wasn't he, in the game? I think he was chirpy in the game, wasn't he? Uh, just to let you know. We played them away from home, didn't we? And they beat us. And it was like we won the league. So that was mm. like a little bit of motivation as well. <laughs> hey, remember, matey boy, John Eustace, who's, who was assistant manager at QPR a couple of years ago, pulled Joey's ponytail. Joey <laughs> had... <laughs> So there, yeah, there's extra motivation behind us to win this game, like from that, just from that game. So there's Joey on his left foot here. Yeah. This is far. This was as far as we got up the pitch, wasn't it? That's not his game. That's not his game now. And this is it. I think miles away. Never ever get into the box. So Bob was never in there. He was. We had no men in the box. Shoulders are going in there, and he's blowing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's been doing doggies for half hour. Uh, yeah. <laughs> left back, left wing. Here we go. Look at this tackle here, Jimmy yeah. Hoyle. He smashes him, doesn't he? Yeah. And, and, and this is the bubble. bubble that, that this bubble this is the bubble. Oh, yeah, that's that one. So Have you seen Bob, out, go on. the picture? The picture that someone's obviously painted from behind the goal. It's like a you hitting the ball, going in there. We're like recreated it. Unreal. Beautiful. Mate, as I'm running off, I promise you, that's, I think I've said to you this before, all I'm thinking through my head is no extra time. That's genuinely all I was thinking. No extra time. Like, I couldn't believe it. Couldn't Billy believe was it. a ride on the manager's back, wasn't he? If he, yeah. he jumped on Harry's back, yeah. That's what I was Bob, remember I had all the, I had all Olbers, I remember I had all Olbers who I'm like, my shirt and that, he's just do it all the time to help me breathe. I remember cuddling, yeah, putting your, I just remember you like wiping your eyes afterwards because <laughs> <laughs> you rammed it in there. Honestly. Look at this. Bang, sweet, stand, that boom. That is oh, sweet. Mate, I just thought, and, and do you know what, those are the, those, those are the times, Chas, that, you know, after training, you're just doing your finishing. And you do them <laughs> day in, day out. <laughs> Not so much me, but, but you know, I mean, those don't genuinely, it's like repetitions, isn't it? You know what I mean? Repetitions, repetitions, and, and, and at the time it just drops you and you manage to put that one away. So, wow, well, mate. Bob, you know, you like, imagine, see, imagine doing him. Yeah, like, imagine like 10, six years ago throughout your career, you was doing it. I just remember doing shooting all the time when I first signed the QB. I'd come off the training pitch as I walked in. He was sprinting out the door. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's a long drive home, my man. There was no food there. I, was, nah. I remember it going in, and because I, I was at the other end, I had 45,000, whatever it is, at one end, going mental, and I was stood in complete silence at the other end. It was the most surreal experience, because I... I like played at Wembley when it when it was England, it was full with England fans, and you just everybody celebrates. But like with this, it was just one half, and you stand there, go, and the realization because they've been giving it all game, it, you, the realization sort of setting on them, going, oh my god, we're out, we've we've lost this, we've thrown this away, and you can see them there. It, you, they, it went from being just getting pelters for forty five minutes to nothing. Unbelievable scenes, wasn't it? Unbelievable. And this is this is it, just trying to do the old school. Chazzer, innit? Get fouls and run that uh, drop down. You try and volley one in the corner. We have a foul oh, in the mate, corner Jason. in a minute. You miss kick the air shot. It goes out for a goal kick. He's trying to put yeah. it in row Z at the top third tier. <laughs> miss kicks it, goal kick. Let it, yeah, um, it's right, in a yeah. minute. To be yeah. fair, I'd rather you air shot it there than like five exactly. minutes earlier or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is it, innit? That's what we talk about the experience, problem. though, wouldn't you? Like, to see these, these moments out. Like, the experience yeah. we had with the team. Like I'll just yeah, your experience on, mate, for this. Uh, it's not nice to watch, mate. We had so many, so much experience in that team to play the game. Yeah, they, they, they imagine that then. They must have thought there's absolutely no chance of scoring now. They're, they've got something to really hold on to now. So, yeah, they was, they was like, like, it, it was It was a ridiculous amount of, of added time, though, wasn't it? Because, like, it, mm. I think they played double what they should have done. I think he just desperate for him to score the, the ref. <laughs> Did you ever but, feel like they might? 
No. 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 no not, not for the whole night. For me, for me, I think being younger and stuff like that, I actually thought they're in a, they're like in a game here. They could score at any time. But obviously experienced lads, they, they thought, no, nah, we're, we're in full control, you know? No, yeah. they, they can't. I, I think they, as I said before, I think they just ran out of ideas after about hey. 75 minutes or something like that. I sent it to you, Moz. I wanted a caught across or something and, and rolled it out to Danny Simpson. And I thought, hold on a minute. Like, I've just rolled one. I haven't rolled a ball out all game. And I just thought, yeah, I've rolled one out. We, we've got a chance here. We're playing. But yeah, and then it was uh, Richard Keogh doing another, a uh, bit of another wild hack on it. And that was pretty much it. I think by then we knew we'd, we'd got them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously, Steve, we'd, sit, we'd had Steve earlier in the season, we, and we knew exactly what he was about and how good he was, really, as a coach and the sessions he'd do and the possession and all of that. And um, Yeah, hats off to him, to be fair. He'd, he'd put a good team together, played some good football, but ultimately, yeah, I think the experience and, and the place that we was at the, at the time, um, I don't think anyone was going to beat us on the day. And what's so, that feeling like at that moment? God, yeah. I think I, I think I start trying to fight people in a minute because they was like bundling me a little bit too much. In the end, I start I start trying to throw throw people off me. Yeah, I was hurt, I was hurting in a minute. Slap on off, someone, Bob. Yeah, exactly. There you go. There you go. I I the job. I remember Gary, Gary O'Neill. Gary O'Neill has his over the moon in it. <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen the clip of Gary? Like uh, the FA must have put on where he's watching it in the uh, outside the changing room. The games are on and stuff, and then obviously you score, Bob. He launches his cup of tea, goes flying, flying through the doors. He's on the touchline, then realises he's been sent off. He has to fly back. <laughs> nah, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Nah, I think four... it's just relief, though, man. Like just a massive relief. Yeah. Obviously, the, the season was long. It was a slog. There was moments where you thought, God, are we even going to get in the playoffs here? And, yeah. and I think you realised how much the club needed to go up as well, you know. And it's just a massive relief, of, uh, a release of emotions there. Uh, you've actually done the job. You've got it done. It was it, 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 it was incredible, but it was like you say, there, there was so many of us with the futures riding on it. So much at stake. Not obviously for the owners and, and, and everything, but everybody involved. I think you know, you look at the manager. I think he would have gone when he, the, 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 the whole thing was just built on people's futures were built on that 90 minutes and it, it, it kind of it didn't work out for everyone like that but it was just it was just huge for everybody involved you know when you see that the moment yeah like it, that's what i'm saying i see them think that that there and obviously i'm twi twice i played in the final been beating the first one the girl at them steps i'm so happy i was so excited just celebrated with everyone hard work that everyone had put in to get promoted and everybody it's true great i remember Listen back to an interview Greeny done and was saying that and it was true, Greeny. Everybody, every football club wanted Derby to win. They yeah. didn't want QPR to win. And we just turned the on we won and the amazing going at home steps and being stood on there like we won was, was unbelievable. Yeah. I mean Hilly Hilly for you, I mean obviously you've been at the club a long time, mate, and I, do you know what I mean? You'd seen it all. Um Obviously, you had the, the, your promotions, but I mean, I suppose a day like today, like that, is a very yeah, different day. And playoffs are completely different, aren't they? So, yeah, I'm, um, just, I'm, I'm just thinking here. Like, I, I never got to experience walking up those steps at the old Wembley, mm. so I've got sent off. So, so all, all that to me there is like, whoa, like every kid's yeah. dreaming it. I mean, you want to go to Wembley, no matter what cup you lift, you're lifting a cup at Wembley, freaking out. Captain in your team, yeah, mate. Fuck off. Yeah, it's just, I, was, I was buzzing for the lads, man, because we went through some shit, didn't we? Yeah. No, yeah, like, mate. like said, you say. There was, loads of people, there was loads of bad press, and it was just, yeah, I was buzzing for the yeah. lads, man, because we'd done it. We'd done it. Yeah. Great scenes, man. But, 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 but like, the, for me, mate, the back four in, uh, and Greeny, that game, just magnificent. Chief, Dunny, like, Hilly, oh, Simo, yeah, just. Yeah, just unbelievable game. Real good, real good game. Real good performance. Professional performance from you guys at the back. Really was. My uh, my last in memory after the game. I've uh, I got after the game getting in the uh, the lift after the game, and Steve Steve McLaren was in the lift with uh, Steely, the goalkeeper coach, and Wally Downs came in the lift. As 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 it was the calls were closing, <laughs> who had taken over from who'd obviously 
he taken over as the coach from Steve. And he just turned to me and went, oh, Steve, you left me with some rubbish there, but I got it sorted in the end. <laughs> I've never seen it down. Oh. Good old Wally. Oh. Good old oh, Wally. I remember doing like a volley. Oh, I remember doing a volley uh, session, right? He got me at the right end of it. He got me doing the volleys. <laughs> Murph was in goal. He had me hitting volleys five <laughs> yards out. Right, Murph went, yes, I'm not doing this. The volley took me went, I did this with Nigel Martin. He was England number one. <laughs> <laughs> that was all down to that oh, session. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. No, 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 mate. It was, that was unreal, mate. I realised, like, like I said, Everybody had played in the Premier League before, and I just realised that my dream would happen. I had all my family and that and friends there. It was it was amazing feeling, honestly, and to be part of the the group of lads and to be written off and from the outset the year before to see the bad press and and stuff that all the lads got and coming into it at the start of the season and realising that I'm only young. I was only 24 when I got involved like and signed for QPR and realised that the lads were we're older and more experienced thinking right this is the one shot for them to get promoted again and and to get back to the Premier League and I was just like well I want to be a part of it I want to be a part of this let's make it happen and it obviously took one last game all the way to the playoffs but as soon as we got the playoffs I think we was always going to do it I think you look at it like looking back now having finished and and that you look back and the other boy probably agree but it would be interesting to hear from him. When you when you speak about, like, you play a career of however many hundred of games you're fortunate enough to play in, a lot of them are rubbish. And you do not remember a lot of them. But that's one game that sticks out in the mind. of One that I remember clear moments of Bobby's goal, turning to the bench going, how long's left? Just there's different elements of it, different senses that I will always remember. And that, you know, you could say, my old man or my mate said to me, remember that game? No. Don't remember it. Whatever game it is, don't remember these games. It's so it's so hard mm. to remember. But that one, yeah, clear as day. And you did you use that? You were saying about no one in football wanted QPR to win. Was that spoken about amongst the group as some sort of extra motivation? I just think. Uh, I think we all knew it. In the, I think we all knew it in the back of our minds. But I think Blackie touched on it. He might have done a couple of times, and and just you know us being just us. Don't worry about anybody else. You know, it's a case of the, the changing room is what's in it, is is what's going to get us the win, really. And, and don't worry about what anyone says. It's uh, ultimately down to us and the, 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 the squad that's uh, got to come together because um, that was the thing, really. It wasn't it wasn't togetherness um, majority of the season. Bob, like you said, I don't think we really when you was out there, you did you knew you knew it. You just had that feeling. Moz, you you part of it. You knew as well as I did that everybody in your position for every other club didn't want you to get promoted to the Premier League. Like this is this was the difference. Like we was a club, we was a team that was a dressing room, but it was the same as everybody that was at the stadium, the same as everybody that was involved in QPR Football Club. Every other football club didn't want us to get promoted. I got told it. it was in the press. I got told it. You, you leave the house and walk down the street. You're getting told it every every week, so, <laughs> every day. He's like, "Cheers, thanks for that. Thanks for the feedback." Yeah, <laughs> punches in the street. Go on. And, you and promote. Yeah. Just, just finally, um, lads, looking back on that period, you you said in the dressing room there were certain clicks, perhaps towards the end, but then you all came together. Um, how did that that happen? Everyone coming together for that common goal, and how crucial was that ultimately to getting us across the line? Oh, it was crucial. It was crucial. I think. I think there's a number of factors. I think. I think Joe had a big part in it in bringing Blackie in. I don't know if everyone agrees, but I think to bring Blackie in at that time when when he thought things weren't quite going right, uh, just to give us that different voice, that different energy, uh, and something more to focus on, um, was a big catalyst for us to turn the, 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 the tide really and use everything that was against us for us. Um, and I think the more adversity we faced, the more tighter we got. Um, and it, proved, it was proven in the final there, to be honest with you. There's just a semi as well, I think. Even a semi, yeah. do you know what I mean? The, yeah. Those games yeah. were, were, were puckered. We showed Harry, Harry as much as what he'd done. When, when in the semi-final second leg, we was getting beat 1-0. Bob, you come on there. We had about five stru- five forward players on the pitch six forward players mm-hmm. on the pitch against Wigan do you know what I mean he, he didn't care 
But I see it now more more as obviously I've got on to the point at West Brom. I see it as some of the lads here, we've, we've got an older squad there, but this could be like the last opportunity for the lads to get promoted and get to the Premier League. And I look back and I say to the lads, I feel like we're very similar to what what QPR was back then when I when I signed for them then. And I felt like that as much all the experience and the quality we had there, this could have been potentially the last time the lads could get back to the Premier League. Mm-hmm. And also, you look at it, I think within the group, we had a, a large squad. And with the help of Blackie, some of the characters you say weren't ideal, but also you kind of wean them out. You were either a part of it or you weren't. And it kind of sifted itself through by the time we got to the playoffs. We kind of signed up and we were a band of brothers or you're in it or you weren't. And those guys kind of just drifted away, drifted out. And it wasn't it wasn't a, go on, a, a big thrashing out and kicking people out of the dressing room or anything like that. But it mentally, people just sifted out of that group and it left it's a cool new clue to the players. Out, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks very much for joining us and for, for going through it. Um, appreciate your time and uh, special memories, I, I'd imagine, for you. I, I don't imagine you sit and watch 20-minute highlights of games, no matter how memorable they are, do you? No. <laughs> I, I watch a lot of League One teams at the minute, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we scored a hat-trick the following year against West Brom. I've definitely watched that many, many times. Um, there's a few times, mate, I've gone through my goals many a time. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> but fortunately enough, though, Chazza, is there there are uh, there are more clips of goals being going in, really, isn't there, than than saves or anything like that. So, genuinely, there, there's more chance of me and you pop me and you popping up on Sky than anyone yeah. else, I suppose. But the the one thing I've learned is not not to not to YouTube my own name. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bob, just a quick one. I'll see where we see it. Yes. My, my decision to be a centre forward as well as yours was miles better than Greenies and Illies to be a goalie and <laughs> centre half. Mate. Too right, mate. Too right. Kids, <laughs> if you want to be it's never someone, awful, be a, is it? Yeah. Be a yeah. striker, kids. Hey. <laughs> Miss, Europa, it's better. They let one in. It's on them. Europa League winner. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it only took him thirty-three minutes to throw it in there. There we go. Hey, a forty-year-old, a forty-year-old striker wouldn't have got that. Yeah. <laughs> and can we have a little flash of them pink salmon shorts you got on there? You like them? Oh, oh, spicy look at as me haircut. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I saw. I, I saw. I'm matching up with your with your body. <laughs> That's what happens when you're in Spain. You must have realised that living in Spain, you can see what the weather's like. Yeah, North Yorkshire, <laughs> mate. Put <laughs> over here, mate. Uh, what do you like, lads? Freaking hell. All right, boys. Uh, absolute pleasure, lads. Again, yeah, superb. Cheers, nice boys. Chat. Cheers, thanks very much. Cheers, Cheers. Take care. Cheers. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye. See you, boys. Bye-bye. 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 Take care, lads. <laughs>